Well, this is not good news for the Bee Diggers. John Beltran back with Dave Urig and videographer Grayson Simmons as Eric Garcia is being assisted off the field. That might be a left knee injury, and by the way he's exiting the field, he's definitely not going to come back in this game. The question is is whether he's going to play again this season if that injury is severe enough. But let's see, maybe it's just one of those things where it's just hurting him right now. And eventually, once he takes some weight off it, he'll feel a lot better going into the locker room or just by the time the game is over. As the football's at the 31-yard line, 18 seconds to go. And it is an ankle injury. And Kyle Hefner over there along with Jacob Fector just attending to their teammate. And the good news is that it looked like it could be a low ankle sprain. If it's a low ankle, it's a lot easier to heal than a high ankle. And motion to the left is Guzman from the 31. Kukas rolling to the left, looking to throw, still looking. Lofts it that way and incomplete. Bruce Melendez was covered at the 10-yard line. 13 seconds to go. It's been a long, long second quarter. It'll be fourth down. Well, that's going to be too long of a field goal attempt, I would think, for Jesus Cardenas. It'd be about a 47-yarder, so I think the B-Diggers more than likely will go for it. Well, I have seen Cardenas kick it from about 35 yards out. So if they could pick up that extra 10 yards, if there was enough time on the clock, he he probably could take a shot at it. Well, it'll be fourth down and 16 to go at the 31. The B-Diggers will go for it. There's 13 seconds to go. The one thing they can do if they get a first down they can call a timeout and set up for a field goal, which probably would be in the area of 30-some-odd yards because they got to get to the 15 for a first down. Naked backfield. Kukas with a long count, rolling to his left, and now the play is stopped. That might be delay of game. Well, that's going to make it fourth and 21 then. I tell you, this is an agonizingly long second quarter. You know, it's been just penalty ridden, just a lot of, a lot of difficulty getting the plays on the field and then getting the kids to to run them. But now with Kukas in there, um, running the show at quarterback, they've they've really stumbled onto something nice with him throwing the football. He's gone five for nine tonight, and that's a that's a lot better passing odds than what we've had. Well, let's see if they go to something like maybe uh, either a deep pass or a hook and ladder. As they are attending to Eric Garcia's left ankle. You know, we've seen those injuries before, Dave, where he just hurts real bad at the time it happens, and it lingers for that day and the next day. But then a week later, you might not be 100%, but but you certainly feel a lot better. Garcia's getting ice put on that ankle, and I mean, if they're going to go anywhere in the postseason this year, assuming they get there, he's going to have to be healthy. Yeah, they need him. So it's fourth down and 21. Let's see if we can end this half before midnight. It just seems like it's been a long second quarter. Kukas is back to throw. He's got some pressure deep over the middle. That pass is going to be tipped and complete, broken up at around the 13-yard line. Broken up by Kevin Blum. So University takes over with seven seconds to go before the break at their own 36-yard line. It was a deep post pattern. I'm not sure if Melendez wasn't open over here on the sideline, but that's a tough thing to do for high school quarterbacks to check through the receivers. Yeah, they're securing that ice on the left ankle of Eric Garcia. What will affect him is the cutback. That's going to affect him big time. If that ankle heals properly, running straight is not going to be as bad, but the cutback, he's got to make sure he's properly healed. That's a, it takes a lot of recovery. Ankles are, are tough. You know, on the grass, you know, with the different surface that each step that you take on the grass, it's, you know, it can make your ankle feel pretty unstable. So even running straight ahead can be difficult if it's a, if it's a bad sprain. First and 10 for University at the 36 as they call the timeout. Yeah, Garcia is going to need either some crutches or just some assistance to be 
with a taped ankle, or iced ankle, I should say, to head to the locker room. Under center is Christian Dick. And Dick is going to pitch it to the right side to Nick Haight. He'll take off with the football towards the sideline. And he's going to be tackled right at the line of scrimmage by Joe Rosenbrock. He'll actually lose a yard. And that is the end of the opening half. With the score, Rush 36, University nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.